Hi, my name is Annie Barnwell. I'm an ergonomist with EWI Works in Calgary, Alberta. Over the last two weeks, many office workers have transitioned from working in the offices to at home. And at home, most people don't have desks, chairs, and other equipment to help set themselves up ergonomically. Over the last two weeks, I've heard a lot about neck, shoulder, and back discomfort. So I put together this little video to show you a few different ways of setting up your laptop at a dining room table with minimal resources. So the first thing you want to do is with every workstation that you sit at, you want to make sure that you've got really good foot support. So ideally, your feet would be flat on the floor, really well supported with your knees and hips at about 90 degree angles. In this case, I've got some textbooks to help support my feet and push me into my backrest. The other thing you want is that your elbows to be aligned with your keyboard height. So this is working out really well for me. The other thing that you want is support for your back. So a dining room table, dining room chair doesn't have a lot of support. So a rolled up hand towel and placing that in the deepest part of your back will support your lumbar spine a little bit better. So you might notice that if you're looking at a laptop screen, uh, your neck is going to get pushed down into a, an awkward posture. So being able to raise the screen up a little bit will go a long way to help your neck. So this is a laptop riser, just a very cheap one. It also uses a document holder, and but this angle brings the screen up closer to your eyes. So it's not perfect. Got your shoulders raised up a little bit. That'll certainly help in a pinch. If you don't have access to something like this, using an empty two-inch binder with a similar angle will also help. Bring that laptop up so that you're looking at it closer to your seated eye level. Even better is being able to separate the laptop screen from the keyboard. So I've got a piece of Girl Guide cookies here that will work out well for me to bring the laptop screen up to my seated eye height and then an external mouse and keyboard. This will allow me to type with my seated elbow height and look at my screen and my seated eye height. So I hope a couple of these tips will help you out with this transition into working at your home and I hope you don't have to do it for very much longer. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact us at ewiworks.com. Thank you.